imagine starting a business where you don't have any hassles. All you do is have yourself a car, a machine, and uh, stuff to wait for you. You go to a site, a client site, the client has bought everything, all the materials, and all you do is just make blocks for them. And then you charge them for each and every block that you make for the client. And after that, you get paid and you go home and you look for another customer. Uh, this is the subject of today. So let's get started. so many businesses that you can choose out there and one of them is actually a cement block business so what you can be doing is you can buy yourself a machine and uh, get yourself a vehicle and so you'll be able to go to clients premises and make blocks for them most of the people cannot afford to buy themselves uh, a block machine so that they can make blocks and sometimes they also will find it very difficult for them to be going traveling to go and buy cement blocks to be shipped to their, uh, to be transported to their site. So they would prefer that somebody come and make blocks for them on site. So this is the type of business that you could be doing. And uh, as myself, who has been manufacturing cement block machines, I've sold so many machines, and I've been trying to also help people understand how to run the cement block business. And one of the businesses that I've been sharing with the people is this one, what we call making blocks on site. And uh, it's high time that now I also venture in this business. So I have bought myself a vehicle and uh, we have, have bought also one of the machines that the customer bought because uh, we have got a, a buying a buy back uh, policy in our business whereby we can buy your machine after you've used it for some time. So what we do is we will refurbish the machine and then we're going to use it ourselves for our business. So we bought two machines now already from our clients and one of, of the machines we are busy trying to republish it, which will be used in this business. So let me just talk to you about what the business entails. Um, I've bought myself a vehicle. It's a two-ton, it's a double cabin uh, Nissan Atlas. And with this vehicle, I can be able to carry my stuff in it and also carry the machine. I chose this that particular vehicle is because uh, um, I want Myself, when I'm taking the, the staff for manufacture um, for the business, I should be able to carry them with them in the vehicle. I uh, don't have to put anybody at the back of the vehicle in case it rains and sometimes we will be driving overnight and all those kind of things. And the idea is that uh, we will put our machine in the in, in the vehicle and our staff and all of the tools that we necessary tools that we need, and then we can drive to the customer's premises. Uh, for a start, we are going to start with Lilongwe. As the business grows, we are going to start moving out of Lilongwe. So if somebody wants us to go to one of the districts in Malawi to go and make the blocks, we'll be going there. And um, eventually, the idea is to have a vehicle in all the regions of Malawi. We've got three regions, uh, southern region, central region, and northern region. So I'll have a vehicle in all, both of the regions so that we can be now uh, satisfying our customers in all the areas. I've been sharing this idea so many times and um, there are some videos that I've even done on this uh, channel. Uh, the, I think the title of the video says uh, is uh, what type of businesses you can do in the cement block industry. Uh, so if, if you want, you can go and watch this video just to get more um, information on how to start this business. I think it's a good business and it's going to be proved uh, by the way I'm going to perform. I'll be sharing information with you. Sometimes when I go to the client's um, premises to make the blocks, I'll do a video and share it with you so that you can have an idea of how to start this business. If you're um, interested in starting a business in the cement block industry, I think this one is the best one because it doesn't require you to have a lot of capital. Oh yes, you may not have a vehicle, but um, you, you, could, you could have a machine and find uh, hire somebody to take you to the site, to the customer site, and you'll be saving money to buy this vehicle. 
uh, like for myself, I had to save uh, money to buy this vehicle. Um, it costed me three three point three million kwacha, which is just over just around um, four thousand US dollars. Yeah, but I had to save for quite a long time. I think I've been saving for almost two years for this vehicle. Yeah, you have to just have a plan. If you have some goals, uh, have a plan and just be uh, serious about it and be dedicated and have a lot of patience uh, when you do it. So let's go and see this vehicle uh, so that I can you can appreciate what um, right. we did. Um, this is the business I've been telling you about. I had to save money to buy this car. It's a Nissan Atlas. Very nice car. It's got only uh, 140,000 kilometers. I bought it for 4,000 US dollars, 3.3 million kwacha. Uh, so I had to save the money. It took me about two years to save this money, uh, but now it's worth it uh, because now we got this vehicle, we can travel to the time. The idea is to uh, get in the car with my staff and the machines and the equipment. We go to the customer's premises and we make blocks for them. And after that, then we leave and then we try to look for another client. So we are planning to run this business in all the districts of Malawi. Uh, the southern region, north, central region, and north, uh, northern region. Yeah, but now let's see this vehicle. Uh, almost everything is intact on this vehicle. Um, no need to do some work on it, buy some uh, paneling. There's a few things that I need to do on it, uh, like um, the, the headlamp is, um, is not, this side is not coming on on dim, so I just need to change the bulb and put another one there. And the same happens at the back. But yeah, you can come and see the inside. Enough space, three people can sit in there, me the driver and two of members of my staff. Uh, so the car is still clean, everything is okay. And yeah, let me try to open this other side. Now we have the, the, the back cabin. Uh, also I can have three or at least four people sitting here. So we can be four, five, six, seven people traveling in this vehicle. There's enough space at the bottom where I can put my, my toolbox and all the other things that I need. And then coming to the back, this this uh, body is about one 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 point eight one meter uh, one point eight uh, meters. Um, so it's enough to carry a machine. Um, and if we are doing, if we are carrying the small the three dropper machine, we can even carry two of those machines. As you can see, everything is perfect. It's in order working order. There's only this uh, lens, the glasses, which is broken. I need to go in town to see if I can get a replacement. And I think one of the bulbs for, I think it's a, a reverse, a, um, a brake light or reverse light is not working. So I need to work on that. So as uh, you can see yourself that you can also do this business. Get yourself a vehicle, get a machine, one of our machines, and then you will be traveling to your client and making blocks for them. There are so many opportunities in the cement block industry. You can also manufacture blocks and be selling. You can, that means that you have to do it for the premises. I don't opt for that option because um, it requires you to have more capital. So it would have required me that I must have a, a piece of land where I'm going to be making blocks. And I've also bought a piece of plot in Blantyre. I will be sharing the, the, the video um, one of these days. There, I'm going to buy, to, to build some houses that I'm going to sell. But what I'll do for the time being, I'll be manufacturing blocks there and be selling in the area because people are now developing uh, blocks, uh, build houses in that area. So yeah, now you see, patience pays. And uh, don't forget, uh, if you like our video, to share it. And also for you to be getting a lot of um, um, notification for our videos, press the notification bell, subscribe, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this car, and tell me what you think about the business uh, where you're making blocks at the client side. Thank you. I pray to God every day just for a moment to see you right there on the corner where I met you, right there on the corner where I met you. Yes, it is all that I need since my African queen feel like a king when I'm with you, feel like a king. God is a gift, it was star in my eyes If I could make a wish, I would wish that you would stay by my side
And I can't find the words, can't explain what I feel Are you falling for me? Can this feeling be real? I just need for you to say that you're mine Cause ever since they won, girl I knew you were the one for me Nobody's business will be doing in our company Give me a check and I know she'll never bounce on me The one I trust, yeah, she always looks out for me If it should leave me and you will grow old We gon' have a few kids, lot of stories untold I might even go both, no stress, that's cool with me I don't care as long as I got you I with me I pray to God every day 